talk to me. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Lachelle Trans, and since in today's video, I'm coming to you with a wig review slash install on this unit you see me wearing right here. This unit was sent to me from Amazon from the company Unice. I will have them and this unit linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. On my channel, I do hair videos, fashion videos, as well as playing makeup. So go ahead and join the gang and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of each video I post so yeah girl let's jump into it okay y'all so again I received this unit from Amazon from the company Unice and it came in this cute little box right here so inside of the box y'all and the packaging was really cute it has like their brand name and whatnot um, but inside of it was the wig you know we had to get her together pre-wash her and all that good stuff but as well it came with this bag and inside of the bag is your typical elastic band with their name as well a wig cap some lashes that's real cute with their name too and then this makeup brush so girl let's get into this unit this is the unit again I pre-washed her plucked her and all that good stuff so that's why she's looking like this but she did come really cute like the curl pattern is really pretty and yeah let's get into the construction of the um well I was gonna say the construction of the wig the cap anyways child let me show you the front here you have the baby hairs this is their kinky texture with the realistic baby hairs come through um, and then here is the construction of the cap as you can see I believe this is a 13 by 4 or 6 but I'll have more details once we jump further into the video but that's what she is looking like in the inside as well as two combs on the side and then a comb at the bottom along with the adjustable straps and she as well comes with an elastic band that I believe is adjustable. Yeah, you can take this off if you want to. Um, and I think this is more so to make it like a glueless look if you would like. Um, however, me and elastic bands don't get along, so I never really utilize it. I always take it out, so I'm glad it has that option. But we're just going to, one more time for these baby hairs, very realistic. And one more time for this curl pattern she is cute so yeah let's go ahead and put her on so I'm starting off by tinting my lace using my lace tinting spray in the shade medium dark brown from the brand red so I'm gonna put on my wig I stopped putting on a wig cap like five wigs ago so I just started doing that but yeah I'm just putting it on notice how my baby hairs is curly we'll get into how they turned out in the end but yeah just notice how they're curly but yeah now I'm just going to go ahead and glue my wig down using my got to be glue free spray I'm going to spray along the hairline and then blow dry it in again sis I don't know if I did this wrong but yeah once we get into it you're gonna see that my baby hair is kind of straightened out so I'm not sure if I should have glued it down the way that I did but I did so we're just gonna go through the process so now that she's all glued down I'm gonna go in with my scissors and just cut off the lace and get 
pretty much as close to my hairline as possible and it's going to be like a rugged cut it's not just straight across but yeah i'm just cutting off the lace So now I'm going to tint the lace one more time using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark and I'm going to place that powder all along the hairline. Then after I get it to my liking, I'm going to go back in with some more Got To Be Glue Free Spray just to melt this unit perfectly, seamlessly into my skin. Um, so yeah. So now that she's melted, I'm going in and about to style this unit, but before I do, I'm trying to uh, comb out the baby hairs just so I can see what they're looking like and they are pretty straight. But never mind that, I'm going to do a side part with this unit. So I'm just going to part the part out um, and then I'm going to go in with my wax stick and place that all along the parting space, avoiding the baby hairs because I wasn't trying to make the baby hairs straighter than what they were. And then I am going to go in using my hot comb and just pretty much try to flatten out the part and just get it to lay um, flat. So now I'm going in with my water bottle so we can get these curls popping and the water bottle only has water in it. I'm just going to place that throughout the hair and then as well I'm going to place some water along the hairline so we can try to curl up these baby hairs. So next I'm going in with some Cantu Curling Cream. Again, I'm just going to place this throughout the hair and then I'm going to focus on my baby hairs to try to get them to curl up. Sis, now I'm not going to lie, I was real deal stressed out about these baby hairs. Like I was trying everything like to mush my fingers real hard so that the hairs can have enough um, traction that they were going to curl up like girl. like. Then I just gave up because I said, you know what, let me just give it some time. Let me go on to the other side and curl the other side and then we'll revisit the baby hairs. And by the time we revisit the baby hairs, they will have curled up. But no ma'am, these baby hairs was just giving me the hardest time. Sis, they did not want to curl whatsoever. No matter how hard I tried, no matter how much product I put on it, they were not budging whatsoever. Thank you. 
Okay sis, so this is what the hair turned out looking like. We're looking real cute and curly. The baby hairs didn't curl up like I wanted them to, but I mean, we're still cute. So anyways, let me turn around and show you the back. So that was the back sis. Let's push her back up to the front and get situated. So again, let's get into these details. Um, this unit is from Amazon from the company Unice. This is their 12A Kinky Edges Hairline Curly Hair. 13 by 4 lace front wig, glueless pre-plugged with curly baby hair, 180% density, and it is 20 inches. So again, sis, um, the baby hairs didn't curl up like I wanted them to. I did wait 30 minutes off camera just so my hair can get bigger and so that the hairs can curl up and they're still fairly straight. I don't know if I should have like I don't know if I don't know if I should have did something differently because I co-washed this unit and after I co-washed it everything like popped the curls popped right back and then the baby hairs curled um popped right back like I don't I don't know what happened but I didn't want to lay down the unit because this is a kinky edges unit so why would I lay the baby hairs down like I normally would instead of just letting them be free like this you know hair this wig is supposed to do so that's why we're looking just you know real just free or whatever we're just gonna we're just gonna let the edges do what they do um I wish they would have curled up but they're not as bad you know, it doesn't look bad with it being straight. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like them because it just makes it look very natural. Anyways, girl, so this is a big hair friendly unit. Again, this is a glueless unit and I knew that immediately after putting it on because it is fairly snug on my head, but it's not an unbearable fit at all. Like it fits very comfortably and I did not use the elastic band. Me and elastic bands do not get along. However, if I did, I could see this being a really nice um, glueless unit just for the simple fact that it already fits snug on my head without the elastic band so I just can only imagine what it would look like glueless um, so yeah a big hair friendly pass uh, this unit's texture is just very soft you can rub your finger straight through it now you will receive some shedding I did receive shedding when I co-washed this unit I didn't pre-pluck it I didn't do anything to it at all I just co-washed it and I did receive shedding when I did that um, and then I did receive more shedding after I just start putting the product into the unit which I expected that because after that I did go ahead and you know um uh pluck it and stuff and then what you manipulate in the hair and rubbing your fingers through you kind of expect it to shed a little bit because it is curly hair but it's nothing unbearable it's not like a lot of shedding but it does shed uh so just know that um again y'all the wig the baby hairs didn't curl up like i wanted them to i even put the water and as well um the curling cream on just so they can curl up and i don't know maybe it's the got to be glue a uh, free spray maybe that did it but i don't know how else i would have glued the unit down besides doing it like that i made sure i pushed the hairs back just so they weren't in the way maybe i shouldn't have did that i don't know i don't know but i like the little curly kinky um baby hairs like i think they look cute and i wish this unit would have did that however maybe i'll reinstall it and it'll curl back up because again when i co-washed it the little kinky baby hairs curled right on up the curls was popping like everything was everything but yeah again i don't think it looks bad at all again the hair is just really pretty really full the 180 percent density like this not a thin unit at all i did go ahead and just kind of push the hair back the part is still there and whatnot i just kind of pushed it back because i kind of liked that look just like an effortless like 
you know, an effortless look with the baby hairs just being free. I think it looks cute. Regardless if the baby hairs didn't curl up, I still think it looks cute and very natural. The lace melted very nicely. As you can see, it's giving skin. It's giving wet wig. It's giving my natural hair. Like, it looks, it looks good. Like, it literally melted in my skin. I did add some powder to the front just to let it um, blend a little bit more seamlessly. And I think overall, sis, it looks good. I love the length and it kind of has like some layers or whatever. I'm going to blow dry it just a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit bigger and just that dry curl, just fluffy hair. But overall, the texture is really pretty. The hair is really nice. And yes, this I'll have it linked in the description box below. If you want to get your hands on it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.